I had people that they don't have the money and they want to start with a low budget. They uh -huh. can start with like maybe $500 buying a vacuum and stuff like that. Yes. But the Do you find yourself not professionally satisfied as if your current job limits you? The answer, entrepreneurship. Wings Mobile Detailing is completely reinventing what auto care means. And with that comes opportunity. We offer you a chance to leverage our five-star franchise business model. You will be taught everything from personal self-development all the way to business modules and tactics. By investing with us, you will be surrounded by big thinkers, successful individuals, and the infinite potential to own a business with all the right tools, training, and support. Build that six-figure income all while managing your business from your home or on the go. And for people who is actually starting a detail route, let, let's talk about that because we've been actually chatting before uh, we started the podcast. Uh, there are different people who wants to start their own detailing business. Let's say you were one of them who wants to start or who has already started your business and where to invest the money first. Uh, not only that, but how to do it. What are the steps to take? W what's your opinion? I'll give you mine as well. Well, my opinion on someone that wants to start is, you know, it's two different, like two different ways, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, you can start like having everything that you need if you have the way to, if you got the money, you know, to invest. Like that's including marketing, mm -hmm. like a good mobile detailing setup. If you want to start that way, there's nothing wrong. And you know, like, because you want clients at first. Yes. You know, I like so that. That, man. That's that what I is say. that is one of the main things you know before you start. But I'm gonna tell you guys pretty much what I had like mm -hmm. seeing. You know, I had people that they don't have the money and they want to start with a low budget. They uh -huh. can start with like maybe five hundred dollars buying a vacuum and stuff like that. Yes. But the most important thing as well is to invest a little bit on marketing or, yes. or things like that. And, and self-development, them learning themselves how to acquire clients, which uh, the best way to start, I guess, in the client perspective business is your power base. You know, your, your friends, family, people you know, your neighbors. Exactly. You know, yes. Guerrilla marketing, which is straight up knock on doors and say, hey, I'm here, you know, like, it's <laughs> yeah. car detail. Yes. And things like that is always, I agree, I couldn't agree more with you, man. Yeah. And then there's the other way, you know, like, which obviously you, you can start immediately, you know, creating your website, paying maybe yes. Google ads or anything like that to bring clients, you know? Yes. And I had, like I said, I had people that come here, they invest in like, you know, in a brand new van, the whole setup, you know? It's and nice for you, but it, it, yeah, you're giving the van, but you're saying, uh, be ready for that, right? Be ready before. Exactly. That's, that's one of the main things, you know, to, yes, to like establish it. some clients and stuff like that. And, but once again, like I have people that they are starting with everything, you know, yes. because, you know, detailing um, is, is a business that you can start with low budget. Yes. Uh, and to like the way I see it, you know, even if you are spending, let's for example, $40,000 mm -hmm. on detailing, that's a still a budget for the type of, of the business that you are investing because there is some other business that if you want to start I know that you got to start with a hundred thousand dollars or more you know yeah on some of the business you know yeah. but uh i yeah. mean detail is definitely low overhead for you to maintain a business low overhead and you get like get profit from the detailing business itself it, it's fast exactly it's not two years in and i uh, i have a lot of people who start a franchise and I know a lot of other franchises in other industries. Exactly. The minimum is it's rare you find sixty thousand dollars to start. Exactly. And detailing is beautiful because you are you may think oh but I'm starting off with you know little money, but then I'm not making much right you know I'm not making a lot of money but that's not reality you know a lot of these franchises that you can that you pay a lot of money to start these industries, companies that you pay a lot is the ROI sometimes will be in the next five or six years. Exactly. To return all that investment. 
Yeah, that's true. And he telling us a few months. You know? <laughs> yeah, like from yeah. the telling you know, if you if you do the right thing and you start getting the clients, like right away you're gonna start. Yeah. I wanna call. I wanna say like feeding your family from yes. the telling, which that's the main thing. That's what we want. It's not exactly. like the Very way much. I see it. Yeah. The way I see it is that I invest and I'm not looking to make that money that I invest right away. Mm -hmm. The main thing is to be self-employed and be able to provide to, for my family. Yes. And the, the money that I invest that's going to come back with time, you know. Yes, you only have cash flow. Exactly. You only have the yes. cash flow. And then in business, cash flow is definitely important. Yes. And a lot of people can get lost. Uh, inexperienced people who wants to get really excited and start off big. Um, obviously, there's certain, you can tweak certain things here and there so that you grow faster. You know, everybody, you know, it's a benefit to grow faster. Exactly. Um, but at the same time, you know, uh, foot on the ground and step by step. Exactly. Yeah. You, you can take big steps, but if you are, uh, if you have the knowledge, exactly. You know, you do that. Yes. Like, at the same time, you know, this is another thing that is pretty good. Uh, invest in yourself and your knowledge. Yes. And that's, that's another good thing, you know, that, that I can bring up, bring up, you know, too. Man, I, I, I'm telling you, if it wasn't for, obviously, God first, but uh, I used, you know, I still do read books on business, entrepreneurs, even outside of the detail industry. And when you're reading one book, you can't tell, you, can't, you cannot tell that it's helping you, like, okay, you're reading, you're learning fun, but the time that you're putting into it, but then one year goes by, six months goes by, and then one year you realize, oh, look what I learned, I know it was from that, from, and even learning from other people as well, um, that you can take that advantage in the marketplace and grow. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's pretty good. One more thing that I can bring is, like, uh, I see some people that they want to start their own business, uh, but they have like a full-time job, mm -hmm. you know, and yes, they are comfortable on the full-time job, you know, yes. and they have a check, like, because that's the way I was, you know, mm -hmm. but once I decide to quit from my job and go full-time, I think that was the best decision that I ever made. Yes. Like, because, yeah. like, on business, you know. And when, how long until you started your detail business with your full-time job, for example, that you saw, okay, now I can step out of my full-time job and Make detail my full time. Actually, time well, time. not really because what it makes me quit from my job, it was the the job, the electrical work was in a different state, and I was mm -hmm. having my family here in Virginia, and I cannot live without my family. I, I, got, I have to stay with them like hundred yeah. percent. That's very important for me, uh, and pretty much that's exactly what it makes me quit because when I. Actually, when I quit, I was just moving into Virginia. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, so you I don't have, any, your I don't have any clients. I don't have guts. anything. Guts, yeah. <laughs> guts. <laughs> I don't have I anything, so I just decided to quit. I know I have the yeah. equipment, I have the knowledge, yeah. and all that kind of stuff. So immediately, I registered my company. I opened up a, a business account and everything. Uh, my, you know, I did everything that I could, you know. I invest in those things, you know. Yes. Um, and then I right away I started just paying Google ads. Yes. And then I, I like, learned my first website. call. I was like super excited. <laughs> then I went to, to work straight. And uh, for people who are starting their business and are, maybe you're like listening to this to us, getting the experience to have a feel in the field to see how long it's going to take you, you know, maybe you're a little bit impatient as well. Uh, not as well, but maybe, you know, somebody may be patient or impatient. Uh, a, a good example in the detailing, what I also see a lot of uh, benefit from it is once you get your feet going, rolling, the startup, obviously, it might take some months. For me, it took like I would do in the first year, I would do one, one or two or three clients a month. You know, it was very slow yeah. because you know didn't know anybody. It's not as easy as it may sound, but um, but that's not how it's supposed to go. You know, you can get your foot forward. Uh, like one of our guys that was starting their business in a different one of our locations, 
he left his, he was working hand in hand with his corporate job to detailing. Mm -hmm. And then it took him six months from the moment he started the business detailing, six months to where he was like, I, I can actually leave my full time job now and go full time or full time in my detailing business in six months. Um, meaning that he was actually already breaking even, you know, from how much he was getting paid on corporate. Yeah. So with knowledge, people can achieve that, can acquire that. Um, and with knowing then build, get, get the beautiful custom built van, you know, <laughs> and, yeah. and invest on that as well. And growing as it goes, because you're going to be growing one month, you're going to make, you know, more profit and more and more you're going to be growing. That's the, you know, that's what's supposed to happen. Exactly. But yeah, back to what I was saying as well, because I don't want, like, maybe somebody's going to come in. <laughs> so back to what I was saying, uh, yes, like, I did that, but at the same time, I was, like, I had a little bit of savings, because, yes. like, because that's very important. I don't want you guys to think that I'm saying this and just do it. No. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, I think like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no. oh, um, Yes, uh, you got to have a little bit of savings, maybe to survive maybe a couple months without a job. Yes. But let's say you got money to survive two months yeah. and start your business. Like the, the quicker way that I find, because this is what I did, was Google Ads for me. Yes. You know, I did pay that. Yeah, you got to invest like, who knows, like yeah. two, two to three hundred dollars a month, you know, but you're going to make that money back. Like, you know. And there are million ways to market, but we see, I mean, you, we see you're uh, open minded the type of person that you are, which is awesome. I always think about, okay, like you were saying, you know, prepare, make sure you have food on the ground. Sales is what matter first, you know, having your first client, your first money. Couldn't agree more, man. That's, that's <laughs> awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. We can't, we, we got to not put the horse in front of the carriage, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, and that's incredible. When, how, how can you, like, I mean, People already know the final news routes detail on YouTube. Yeah, you guys can type just routes details in, in Google or YouTube, uh, Instagram, Facebook. You guys can find me there. You guys can see what we've been doing pretty much. And yeah, that's, that's awesome. That's we're going to show the, the, the place here around because we right. promised in the first video. <laughs> um, yes, we will do that. Yeah, let's do it. Thank you guys for watching. and. Yeah, thanks for having me. If you guys are watching on uh, YouTube, uh, you know, like, share, subscribe, subscribe to Wings Mobile Detailing, subscribe to my channel as well. You guys are welcome. Become like as a yes. family. I, I, I kind of like how we can be a big family. And we're, and we're here to help too. Like for whoever's starting their own detailing business, uh, you can hit, like we're, we're going to answer your questions. Any exactly. questions, how we know how we started. Uh, a lot of guys who start their business, they go through struggle, a lot of hard times. Uh, there are people who can, you know, they're really, really struggling. And they think that that's not normal in business, you know, when you're beginning. Uh, but when we talk to people and they're just starting and we say, hey man, this is actually normal. This is part of the process to succeed. And then you can like breathe a little bit and we're like, okay, this is now how it's supposed to happen. And that, that's important to know. Yes, it's exactly. important to know what's on the road. Exactly. Um, obviously, for some people, it's more smooth path uh, than others, but it's important for everybody to exactly. To know. Yes. All right, thank you, Rob. Uh, thank you. Let's buddy. go, Rob. Thank you. <laughs> Just completed the podcast here with Rauda, Tony Rauda from Rauda's Detail, and we promised that we we're going to show the garage here. Yeah. <laughs> he agreed. So let's go around and see. What he's got here is oh really my. nice setup, man. Oh, thank you, thank yeah, you. Definitely. Nice. Pretty much, uh, this here it was a, I think it was one car garage. Uh, the you know the roll up this door, you know the garage door. It was a uh, like eight feet, and it was a, uh, it was pretty much a wall right here because this side over here it was a, uh, it was a pretty much like a room, uh -huh. like I don't know, but it was everything was pretty old. And then I decide to pretty much, uh, you know, remodelate the entire garage in order to make it functional for detailing. And at the moment, I even install, you know, the setups in here on, on this uh, on this garage. But yeah, like I fully put everything, you know, <laughs> that I can, even lights, in order to do paint corrections, ceramic coatings, and all that stuff. 
and yeah so far i like it i love it like the way it is right now yeah that's awesome man you got all the cabinets like set up over there as yeah. well that's beautiful and this is where you do you do the events on youtube as well exactly pretty much this is this the spot you know it's yeah. not it's not big but it's enough you super know super well organized yeah thank you the plum the the electrical service that you used to do <laughs> serves you well exactly it served you well thank exactly. you very much rado for showing man appreciate you're you. welcome no problem